Though it might look at a wild attempt to travel from New York to Florida, it was actually a well thought out plan. I did everything from maintenance, thought out weather patterns, and even mapping because I don't like to use a GPS, so I really had to memorize the route over there. So to make a long story short, this is my journey that I took in May of 2023 on my 2003 Harley V-Rod. So I'm somewhere in Delaware. Things are getting real because this temperature is really, really cold. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get into one of these uh, sketchy Super 8 motels, I always bring my bike inside the room with, anyway, let's see what we got here. So I had to prep the bike, basically last minute, like we all do. So as you can see here, I, I added a little tool bag for the trip. But if you look over here, you're gonna see that I have the windshield. Now the windshield came from Amazon, and of course, it was missing hardware. It stated that it came with the hardware, although it did come with some hardware, it was missing some as well. Being that I was running around, I didn't have time to go to Home Depot and, and, and figure it out, so I just zip tied it. It's not supposed to be flushed, but it did give me some protection. And I did ride for about seven and a half hours straight with little stops between, you know, gas stations and stuff. But anyway, this is how I pack my bag, you can see, for the vloggers, and I have my saddle, which is actually a real saddle from a horse. I have my kayak bag, which is waterproof, and I have my lunch bag, all right? So if you look here, I have like, uh, you know, bowls and, and stuff. Over here is all my camping gear, hammock, uh, I have a tent inside, I have all my clothes, and you can see over here, this is the only thing that I bring with me as a vlogger, all right, so, but yeah, this thing right here, I don't, I, I, I'm a little mixed, I got mixed feelings about it, because um, I almost froze to death, but it did, it did give me some protection. The only thing is that the wind, you know, I, I just need to be flushed up because the wind is like straight hitting my helmet. So I'm getting a little resistance in the neck area. But as far as my body, I'm good. Like I can rest my arms without fear of the wind blowing my arms all over the place. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you see that. You see the palm trees, you know what it is. You know we ain't playing out here. <laughs> Florida, baby. Palm trees up.
Hello. This is why I love motorcycles. It says, start of the 1959 Daytona 200, over 100 riders competed on the 42 mile course each year. The rally started as a race event. And these are the legends. You can see here, wow, they really pay homage here. It says, this session is sponsored by the great people of North America. And as you can see here, uh, current legends, maybe the year uh, 2019, 204, 202. Oh, man, Daytona really is a bike town. see the names but you can google some of these names man. this makes me really proud man to be a bike rider man and i tell you look everything down to the brick down to the brick this is truly the greatest memorial i have ever seen in my life. Dedicated to all the true bikers and riders of America.